Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today is the head football coach of the Minot State Beavers, Coach Mike Aldridge, who's in his fifth season. Coach, the schedule pretty much wiped out throughout the Northern Sun in the fall of 2020. I know that the boys got to see some action, some limited action with scrimmages and such, but still with camp underway now where you are, how ready are they to get out there and just hit somebody and make something happen? Uh, they're... Um... I think to say that they're excited is probably an understatement. Uh, by the time we kick off in September, it's going to be 20 months in between uh, meaningful games. Um, so it's been it's been quite a long time, and uh, we haven't started uh, tackling or anything like that in camp yet. Um, we're trying to to hold off because I know that they're itching for that to happen. Um, but that'll happen soon enough. But uh, to answer your question, yes, they're going to be very excited to play that first game. Well, I know they're looking forward to it, but there's a lot on the on the way before that happens. Uh, lots to get ready for in in the players that you bring back and and with names that are beside you know the the classifications beside the names on the roster are pretty much nominal anymore with all that COVID provides and that extra year and fifth and sixth. So I won't even get into the years there, but I will say you bring back some quality players, including and let's start with the offense, Ali Muhammad. Rushed for 817 yards back in 2009 or 19 and uh, had nearly 1,000 all purpose yards, including seven touchdowns as well. So, what does the offense look like? Well, I mean, he's, uh, he's going to be our lead cow for sure. Um, uh, he's, he's only gotten bigger, faster, stronger. I think uh, as bad as, it's, uh, as it was that we had this year off for the, because of COVID, um, we played 14 true freshmen in 2019. So we were able to get them a redshirt year and get them that developmental year. And, and Ollie is one of those guys. Uh, he was the freshman newcomer of the, of the year in our conference on offense. Um, so we have high expectations for him. He has the same of himself. Uh, he knows that, that people are going to be taking notice of him. We're not going to sneak up on anybody, um, but that's okay. I mean, he's, uh, he's got that type of personality that he wants to – to carry, carry not just the ball, but the entire team. So he, he's a fun personality to be around, and, and he's going to be a sophomore. So it's, it's pretty amazing to see that. So there, there is a bright future ahead, and and uh, glad that somebody that uh, on a part of your program as well. We're speaking now with Mike Aldridge with Minot State, and and coach. As we look at the defensive side of the ball, I, I want to talk about players on you know throughout the defense. But let's go ahead and start on the line there. And one of your players, Jordan Will, very recently uh, received yet another honor, and, and we're talking about somebody who is an All Northern Sun performer in both football and wrestling. But he's now this week been named as an academic All-American. And I have to ask you, uh, you know, there's there's something about having a wrestler's mentality. So, you know, if you have somebody who not only has that wrestler's mentality, but has the skill as well and is smart on top of that, how big a luxury is that to have on your team? Yeah, I mean, you kind of look for those defensive linemen that are wrestlers out of high school uh, because they understand leverage and um, competitive one-on-one -on -one situations, getting hands on each other and all those type of things. And so then to be able to have a, um, a legitimately top 10 uh, heavyweight wrestler in the country, um, also starting on your defensive line, uh, that, that definitely helps. And, and we've, got, we've got some other wrestlers on the team, uh, on our football team as well. So I think Jordan is kind of paving the way for others to see that, the, that it's possible to be a dual sport athlete and be successful. Um, but academically, I mean, there, there really isn't an honor that Jordan hasn't, hasn't received. He was, uh, the football elite 18 winner in our conference, which is top male student athlete for football. Then he ended up winning the Northern sun top male student athlete overall. And, um, I think the academic all American award was just a matter of time, to be honest with you. I don't know if you can get it in both football and wrestling, but, uh, he, he definitely is deserving of it, and he's and he's as humble as they come too, which which is which makes him such a pleasure to be around. Those those are the fun ones to be around. You're exactly right, Coach. Well, uh, you know, in in what he did on the line, and he was able to get into opponents' backfields as well. You had a number of players that were like that. Uh, many uh, of the players on your roster, you look down, you see tackles for loss throughout the team. Uh, but uh, not just those players. Also, you, you're led by some great players in the secondary as well, including Isaiah Bigby, Justin Coleman, each of them with two interceptions, three pass breakups. And Bigby led the team in tackles in 2019, and he's returning for you as well. 
Yeah, Isaiah is, is he's kind of the our defensive version of Ali Muhammad. I mean, he played as a true freshman in 2019, started every game, led us in tackles. Um, he's a he's he's what we look or any I guess really any coach looks for when you're recruiting is can you find a a recruit whose dad is a coach because you know they've been coached throughout their life and and Isaiah's father's a basketball coach in Las Vegas, um, so you can see all of those traits and characteristics come out in him. Uh, he's a, I mean, he really is a coach on the field for us. Um, and I, obviously I'm biased. I get to work with the safeties. Um, so it's, it's fun to get to work with him, like literally every minute of the day. Um, but again, he got to benefit from, from this COVID year and, uh, get his red shirt under his belt and he's only going to be a sophomore and, and he's motivated because he sees Ali get the newcomer of the year in 2019 <laughs> and, and he didn't. So it's, it's a fun rivalry to watch those two guys go at it and they're young and they're they're really two of our bigger leaders on the team well it, it should be fun to watch and and those are great players to follow and and fans are going to have an opportunity very quickly to get to that point i mean the schedule opens up just right around the corner and we look as things get started on saturday september 11th as uh, you all travel to augustana and then the very next weekend your first home game for those fans to come out and watch you all in the 2021 campaign as you play host to sioux falls can you talk about the opening to your schedule yeah, so we so we open up at Augustana on it's actually on September 4th. And um, you know, that uh I was the head coach there, coach there for lived there for about 14 years. So it's always a fun game to uh to be a part of. Um that was supposed to have been our original home or opener last year, uh before it all got shut down. Um, so we've been anxiously awaiting uh awaiting this game. And then um I know we'll be excited to finally get to to get a home game under our belt as well. But there is something to be said after you come out of fall camp um, uh, for playing on the road um, because you have to trim down your roster. Uh, you get away from the distractions of, of being at home right away, uh, get to a little bit more laser focused on just that core group of guys, the um, 58, 60 guys that you're on the road with and, and trying to trying to figure out what, what all is going on. So I'm actually looking forward to getting on the road. Um, we're used to long bus trips, so that's not the that's that's not what concerns us. But I think it'll it'll be a good test. Um, we got a couple other really good players of note. Ben Belinsky is our returning quarterback, our six-year senior quarterback. Um, he was a conference player of the week at once or twice last year or in 2019. Really good, and and I think he really benefited from last year too. Uh, just having that off year, finding new receivers. Uh, we, we graduated our all-time leading receiver, and Ben was really able to lean on him through through the early part of his career. So Ben's been forced to to find his new weapons and, and find his new comfort zone. So that's made him a better football player. Um, he'll be protected on one of the tackles by Sebastian Gutierrez, who uh, will also be a six-year senior. I think uh, we're up to four NFL teams that have been on campus to see him. Um, so he's got a definite opportunity a legitimate opportunity for the next level and um he knows he's got to step his game up to be a d2 guy to get into the pros uh so i think there's uh there's some fun motivation there as well so it's uh we're excited we're, we're really youthful um with only six seniors but we're very experienced so it's kind of a unique situation that we're in it is interesting it's it's neat to see how all this is going to play out over the next few years and and some of these players that do get so much time uh with uh, red shirt years and COVID years and and it'll add up to a lot of experience for you i know that coach mike aldrich thank you so much for taking time with us today here on midwest sports net as we uh continue to preview the college football season and success to you and to the beavers here in 2021 well i appreciate your time as well <laughs>